First of all, I need the walk and then I make the art. I'm committed to the idea that if I don't make a walk, I can't make any art. It's a whole lot of kind of moments really that uh, have accumulated into an idea for myself of calling myself a walking artist. In a way, walking seems to me to be very wide. Many, many applications, many, many possibilities. Walking is commenting on life today. You have to have the rules in order to sort of construct the walk. What's written must be what I did. So it's kind of locked in by, by the text. And the text is basically the most important part of the artwork. The sort of accuracy and truthfulness is important. So I think of the walk itself, each individual walk, as, as a complete entity, and every walk is unique. In the exhibition here, uh, you can see there's a map of uh, my coast-to-coast -coast or water walks on uh, Western Europe, which is a map of Western Europe without any boundaries, no borderlines. Borderlines are, are to do with human history. On my map, the emphasis is on uh, land and water. I made a few walks that went from a river to a river. The starting and ending places are in nature. It's water to water. It's to emphasize nature, and that's why there are no borderlines. They're just the, the, the route lines, approximate route lines. Walking is the best way that I know f for introducing us to the existence of nature and re therefore a respect of nature. And respect for nature is related to climate change and the ecological crisis. If you're commenting on nature and the land and um, walking outdoors, the material that the art is made of in some way shouldn't be extremely contradictory. So that's why um, I've been making the small woodworks, they um, basically can go into a small bag. Then there are different sort of um, symbolic mountain shapes with regard to high altitude treks. You think about this walk in that way because it's three blue painted triangles and you think about this other one from Japan because it's a symbolic skyline, the quietest day. It's a sort of a story that text came out of the quietest day in the quarantine for, for COVID, you know, because you have the immediate sounds of vehicles or um, aircraft. On that day, the machines nearby had disappeared and also, more importantly, the background sound had completely, you know, just for a while it had gone. So you, you could hear things, you know, it's just uh, very strange. I wanted to address urban city walking, which is where most people are walking and what most people are used to in, in a practical sense. In this case, that there is no practical purpose. The purpose is to experience this kind of purposeless walking. These walks that I make, it's actually a participation and each person is equal. It's just a community, you know, communal experience of walking together. What is constructed is, is an experience. So part of the walking experience is not knowing what it's going to be like.